Welcome back to Summit Sunrise. You want to bring something back from your Colorado vacation that's uniquely Colorado, uniquely Weston? Well, pay attention. I'm here with Kate from Slopeside Cowboy. And uh, as the name suggests, uh, kind of Weston wear, men and women. Absolutely. We're a Western store here on the side of the slopes. <laughs> Here in Breckenridge, and we've got we've got modern wear, kind of like what I'm wearing this morning. Mm -hmm. Lots of bright colors and embroidery work. Double D is this company, mm -hmm. and then we've got a little bit more western for the the people who are looking for western. Some button up, like sort of pearl snaps mm -hmm. and plaid and that kind of stuff. Slopeside Cowboy, right at Main Street Station, underneath the walkways, you walk off of Peak Nine. You'll see the archway, and uh, right under that is Slopeside. Now, uh, could it, now that that's a double D. Double D is the company. Could a, sure. could a dude wear that? Is that is that uniquely female? No, they have some some menswear, but we don't have it there in the store. We only mm -hmm. carry the ladies Little for lady. some reason. Sorry. <laughs> but you carry a lot of men's tops and men's jeans. Absolutely, we've got premium denim for both men and women, and in particular on the men's, we have a little bit more. We've got True Religion, Hudson, Seven for All Mankind, Citizens of Humanity, Joes. And you know what? I've been I've been checking since I've been been talking to you here in the morning. I've been kind of looking at you know the different jeans, and sometimes every once in a while you'll see one that says premium denim. But most of the rank and file stuff that you get, it's not premium denim. Now, what is the difference? The difference is that premium denim is a little higher quality. It's a it's a different dye process, and it's just a thicker, heavier denim to begin with. Mm -hmm and they last you a lifetime. Right. Like, they're a little bit more expensive, but because they're just gonna last forever. Yeah. You know, I gotta tell you, on all my, you know, all my pockets, on all my jeans, tear out. And that probably is just because, you know, I, I buy those $4 jeans. Um, and, and that is just inferior stitching, inferior uh, fabric, and that's, the, that's what separates premium denim from the low and stuff. Right, the premium denim, if it has tears and holes in it, it came that way from the right. manufacturer. Nice. <laughs> it won't wear that way. <laughs> okay. Now, in, uh, in what, uh, what are the brands of jeans again? We have True Religion, Hudson's, Citizens of mm -hmm. Humanity, and okay. Joe's. Now, what about, uh, yeah, I'm, I noticed we have the boots. We've talked about the boots. Those are Lucchese. I'm wearing Lucchese's this morning. I've just got plain Jane brown Lucchese's on. We also carry Old Gringos and Corral which are really pretty good companies for bright colors. Like if you want some pattern and hearts and flowers or w right. wings and crosses, whatever you want, we've got it. And let's just issue a warning, a public service announcement. Dudes, don't tuck your pants in your jeans, right? <laughs> That's kind don't of, tuck your jeans in your boots, right? That's kind of a fashion okay. reserved for ladies, okay. yeah. <laughs> now, let's how about hats, about chapeaus? Now we've got Stetsons, you know, the traditional mm -hmm. Stetsons or Resistals. We've got these straw hats that mm -hmm. I like to wear. This is Run Amuck is the company. We've also got Charlie One Horse and, mm -hmm. you know. Now, you gave me a demonstration about how you can fit a hat. Well, it's supposed to stay on your head when you tip upside down. So you just go like that. Just lean forward. It's supposed to stay on. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So, so, so you, do, you, you, you do that. You do that test at uh, Slopeside Cowboy. You say, yeah. okay. People bring. They ask me to bring out some measuring thing. I'm like, no. Put the thing on and tip upside down. <laughs> See if it fits. There you go. Slopeside Cowboy located right in, a, in Main Street Station, just to the north of town. Venture off Peak Nine, and you'll find it. Also, you've kind of a nice little living room area where one of the one someone can hang, kind of relax their legs while the other shops. Yep, we've got that nice little seating area. It's right there by the boots, so you can watch your significant other, you know, try on the boots or come out of the dressing room with, with the nice. And other than hats, boots, jeans, all sorts of accessories, jewelry, as well as belt buckles. Got belts, belt buckles. Jewelry, everything from the expensive actual Native American jewelry that's one of a kind pieces and thousand dollar price range, clear down to the um, sort of look alike, yeah. you know, just not necessarily costume, it's still really good jewelry, but maybe $50 yeah. for a look alike I'll, I'll, piece. Someone just gave me from my Secret Center a 100% Rebel belt buckle. Uh, that was, I'm, I, I'm sure knowing this guy, it was very affordable. Yeah. So We've got a whole rack full of belt buckles like that that are between $20, $25. Cool. Check out Slopeside Cowboy. You'll be glad you did. Located right on the north end of town, underneath the uh, archway in a Main Street station. We'll be back. Don't go away.